Hey guys, I'm Sonika. In today's video, I'm going to compare my Nikon 260 500, a fixed lens point and shoot camera, to a waterproof point and shoot camera by Nikon, the Nikon Coolpix W150. So let's get started. Please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon to get notified whenever I am on YouTube. Thank you. Hey guys, I am Sonika. Welcome to my channel which is all about photography, travel, vlogging, cameras and I put out new photography tutorials every Wednesday for you guys. So if you want new photography tips and tricks from me. Wednesday, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon. And today we are going to compare the Nikon Coolpix B500 and Nikon Coolpix W150 and see which camera is better or where. We are going to score both the cameras based on their specs like shooting speed, battery life, or sensor size etc. The one with the best score will obviously win. So let's get started. The Nikon B500 has a 16 megapixel 1 by 2.3 inch sized BSI CMOS sensor. The W150 has a 13 megapixel 1 by 3.1 inch sized CMOS sensor. So since the B500 has a bigger sensor size, it will get a point. The B500 cost me around 17,130 rupees. W150 will cost me around 13,950 rupees. So 1.2 W150 because it is cheaper. The optical zoom of the B500 is 40x, that is equivalent to around 900 mm in 35 mm film terms, and the optical zoom of the W150 is 3x, that is equivalent to around 90 mm. So we will give one point to the B500 for more flexible focal coverage. The B500 has a tilting screen. The screen cannot swivel to the side but it can tilt in such a way. So it is very useful for uh, high angle, low angle shots. But the screen of the W150 is fixed. It does not move at all. The W150 is clearly smaller of the two cameras. It is notably 17% smaller than the B500. It weighs 177 grams as opposed to 541 grams by the B500. So it's more compact and travel friendly, especially for long walking trips. With a single charge, the B500 can give me 600 shots. And uh, the W150 can give me around 220 shots. So that's 380 more shots by the B500. The main USB of the W150 is that it is waterproof and can survive a lot of tough conditions. It is waterproof to a depth of 10 meters, shockproof from a height of 1.8 meters, freeze proof up to minus 10 degrees Celsius and dust proof. So if you take it outside in the rain and it starts raining every day, so you don't have to keep your camera away, you can keep shooting. The maximum ISO of the B500 is 6400 and the same of the W150 is 1600. So the B500 will be more useful to me in low light situations. The minimum aperture of the B500 at its widest focal length of 23mm is f3 and the minimum aperture of the W150 at its widest focal length of 30mm is f3.3 so the B500 is for 7mm wider coverage and at f3 it is fast at its widest end. The B500 can shoot seven full resolution images at a shooting speed of 7.4 frames per second and the shooting speed of the W150 is 5 frames per second. The 
the LCD screen resolution of the W150 is 230k dots and the same of the B500 is 921k dots. So the B500 gives me 4 times higher screen resolution. The B500 allows me to set the exposure, view and vividness manually. This feature is clearly lacking in the W150. I can use a white balance preset for my images in the B500 like cloudy, daylight, shades, flash etc. But in the W150, I have only one white balance mode for it. Now guys, I'm gonna tell you some common features between these two cameras. Since they are common, we won't score them. But in case you wanna buy any of these cameras, I guess you need to know them. Both cameras have somewhat similar inbuilt flash face detection focus, image stabilization, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connectivity, and 1080p video resolution. Both cameras don't have GPS, plus no shoe for external flash, no touchscreen capabilities, no viewfinder, no raw support, no microphone or headphone jacket, and no manual mode. So guys, based on our score, the B500 is the winner because it gives me manual exposure, a tilting screen with more LCD screen resolution, more shooting speed, better battery life, more optical zoom and a bigger sensor size. The W150's uh, weather sealing capabilities set it apart. Uh, so if you are looking to enter into underwater photography or if you frequently travel to places with tough conditions like extreme snow or heat, then you may consider the W150, the choice is yours. So guys, this was a detailed comparison between the Nikon Coolpix B500 and Nikon Coolpix W150 and I hope my video cleared your doubts regarding these two cameras and in case you were confused which one was better, I hope my video helped there. If you have more suggestions on which cameras I should compare next on my channel, please leave them down below in the comments and if you like this video, give me a big thumbs up. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also turn on the bell icon to be notified whenever I post new videos. Here is my previous camera comparison and here is a playlist that plays all my camera comparisons. Please go check these videos out guys. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for more such videos every Wednesday on my channel. Bye.